at Wynn Stadium and we've just seen the Kangaroos defeat the Kiwis in the main game. The Gillaroos triumphant over the Kiwi Ferns as well and the Junior Kangaroos winners against France. But this lady here, Sam Squires, <laughs> great to see you. And uh, you hosted the women's presentation mm -hmm. and did a fantastic job. Thanks, Steve. Lately, I've been putting up a lot of videos on presenting skills mm -hmm. and you do hundreds of events. Mm -hmm. What are the main things you focus on when you step on stage? When I step on stage, I don't get nervous. A lot of people say, do they get nervous? And I think my biggest bit of advice is to avoid nerves and also to prepare for one of these events and to do one of these events, whether it's like like what we saw in World Cup Nines where we were having a bit of fun on stage or whether it's something serious like a presentation that we had to do after the Gillaroos game. My biggest advice would be is to prepare. Like failing to prepare is preparing to fail. How many years have you been broadcasting and presenting? Oh, since probably, oh, I actually first started in Germany. Um, I was over there for uni. I actually studied journalism and international studies and I, and part of that degree, you have to go overseas and, and study for a year. So I was in Berlin and I pretty much just emailed and hassled Deutsche Welle TV until they gave me a practicum, which is like an internship. And so they gave me an internship for two weeks. I extended it out. I said, oh, what happens if I defer? Um, can I defer uni and not go back to Australia? Can I stay here? So I stayed there for another three months during that practicum, that internship. And that was way back in 2003. Uh, what about mentors? Have you had some? And have you got heroes in the industry that you admire and respect? Oh, I've got so many and I've been really fortunate to have some really, really great mentors. When I was at uni, I had Peter Manning, who used to be head of um, news and current affairs at Channel 7 and ABC. Um, and he's still a great, a great friend of mine. Um, and we still catch up. Stella Laurie, who used to work at Nine, and then she came to win news and she was our news director and really, really helped me. Later on, um, Rebecca Wilson was uh, someone I really respected in this industry a lot because she just she never sat on the fence she had so much fire and I just loved how she wasn't afraid to back down from her opinions um, and I like that especially in a time where you know women's voices and opinions weren't being heard I, I love the fact that she just had the courage and she was so brave to always say her opinions and I think more women should um, be able to voice their opinions and then Tracy Spicer has been another um, big mentor of, of mine over the years. Um, she's just been fantastic. And then when I got into the industry, into the sports industry, it, it was at a time when a lot of us were like juniors, a lot of, a lot of us, I say a lot of females, um, juniors like Ros Kelly, um, Erin Moll and Erin and I used to work in, in regionals together. Uh, Yvonne Sampson as well, Mel McLaughlin, like we were all, like all studying out kind of together and and I think the greatest strength that I had and the greatest advice and the mentorship I had was from my like my peers in, in those women. We all kind of helped each other. We'd go out for lunches. Yeah, and you're all shining lights in the industry. Uh, we've got to say, we've got to say <laughs> the great right. DJ Stephen Ferris is filming yes. us tonight. One of my heroes. Thank you. Uh, and to you, now that you've told us you've worked in Germany, can you wrap this up in no, German? No, I can't even. It was my major at uni and I used to be fluent and I can't, but... Genau, enough, genau, genau, genau. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great Sam Squires. Cheers. <laughs>